Here's why a lot of dealers think that they can't train their sales staff. It's because most of what we've called training over the years has really been educational at best. You send your guys off to the Marriott because the hottest sales trainer in the industry is going to be putting on an eight-hour workshop. Your guys come back pumped up and excited, probably complaining about the lunch, and days and weeks later you're wondering why the results aren't there. We send them training, it, it didn't work. No, you didn't. That's as much training as you watching a day of golf at the Masters is training for golf. You can watch Tiger Woods play all day long, and it's not going to make you a better golfer. Going to a baseball game is not considered training for baseball. I might become educated in baseball, but the only way to train is through repetition. For golf, I have to go out there and hit bucket after bucket after bucket of balls in order to improve. Baseball teams take batting practice every day. They take fielding practice every day. So yes, going to a seminar can deliver education. It can teach your people the right way to do things, a better way to do things, but training is what managers need to be doing every day in the form of role playing. Practicing on pretend customers instead of real victims. So again, the thing that we call training is really a process comprised of more than one element. The first one is education, learning what to do and what to say. This can be accomplished virtually, by reading, in seminars, or CDs. The second is training. Training is practicing. It's role playing. Training isn't something you did. It's something you do. You can absolutely train your sales staff, but just make sure that what you're calling training really is. You'll